So 38 years later, rest in peace Steve Prefontaine. Yeah, um, I know it's been a while, but it's... Pre was a runner that just had a big impact, influence on distance running in the United States at that time. Probably more than most runners probably ever had, even like before and after them. Um, I mean, he was just that guy who had that charisma, personality, and he just went out there and performed, and he did good, and people noticed it, they liked it, they enjoyed watching people running 12 and a half fucking laps around that track, and thinking, you know what, this is not that boring, this is actually pretty interesting, I kind of like it, you know, so, and he also said, you know, run with your heart, you know, if you give anything, Last thing you're best, you're sacrificing the gift. That's not quite really how he said it, though. But you know what quote I'm talking about. Yeah, his most famous quote, which is hundred, which is totally hundred percent true. Of course, th 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 his meat, the classic that was the tribute to him after his death, and has been running pretty much every single year afterwards, and he just gets bigger. Well, yeah, bigger in a way, you know. But it just brings that running community together and, and what he did, what he, how he changed the sport after, after, you know, his era, you know, because, I mean, yeah, it was the golden age of track and field was the 60s, that's no doubt about it, it would be nice if we could get back to that era, highly doubt it though, because of how the sports media is now doubt if that will ever happen, but it would be pretty nice, I will say that. But, just, overall, of what Prefontaine did, you know, on the track and outside the track, and that's what makes him who he is today. I mean, I can't really think of any other runner who's more celebrated as Prefontaine as him. Yes, there were other runners who were better, faster than him in that one race, even when he didn't win, but he made the biggest impact, and that was like the most important thing, and it pretty much just changed everything. So, it would be nice to get another runner, but he's going to be compared to himself, so that could have that impact. Well, I was thinking Nick Simmons, but... I don't know if he's there yet, though, plus especially what he tried to do last year. I don't know if that was a hoax or kind of some kind of publicity stunt of bringing Paris Hilton to the uh, U.S. Olympic trials. Get, 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 I'm trying to get that out of my head right now, but <laughs> that was sort of nonsense. But what Prefontaine did, the biggest impact of American distance running than any other runner before or after, I think. And if you were alive today, I'm pretty sure he'll be somewhere with Nike, or maybe coaching Oregon. I mean, whatever though. Or we could have seen the 5,000, you know, gold medals, Steve Prefontaine at the 76 Montreal Games. But no, who did it go for? It went for Mr. Lasse Baron. Drug cheat. Anyway, so. Done for it. Uh, <laughs> done right now for saying. Got nothing else to say, but yeah. Prefontaine, he was a man. I mean, after all these years, he still has an impact on the sport. That's how crazy and big he was. I mean, if I was alive in 1970, between like, you know, when he was big from like 1969 to like 1975. In that time, oh man, I, uh, it would have been nice. I don't know what to do, you know, just like, it'll be like, pre, 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 and then when he died, it'd be like, I would have been heartbroken. Anyway, so, I'm done, out of here, peace. Go watch the pre classic this weekend, it's gonna be a lot of fun.